Okay, which of the following best describes the central issue with which the passage is concerned? This is a main idea question. And what you should always endeavor to do, the main idea question, is to answer it in your own words. What's the main point of this passage? Well, we go back to the beginning. It would be expected that a novel by a figure as prominent as W.E.B. Du Bois would attract the attention of literary critics. Okay, and then he goes on to tell us what, though. Well, his novels, including The Quest, have not. And so you can read where it says, but though value scholarship has examined his political and historical thought, his novels have received scant attention. So that's what it's addressing. How come we don't know Du Bois the novelist in his novels? And so the answer that matches up best with that is E, the degree of consideration that has been given to Du Bois' novels there hasn't been much, including the quest, and that matches up best with our answer. Now let's look at some of the other answer choices here, though. A, the perfunctoriness of much of the critical work devoted to Bois' novels. Don't let that word perf perfunctoriousness, which is a horrible sounding word, throw you off. Not the answer, because even if you're not sure what perfunctoriness is, you can, of course, find a better answer amongst the answer choices. Perfunctorious means you go through the motions. You don't really think about something while you're doing it. It doesn't match up there, so get rid of answer choice A. And then we look at D, the relationship between Du Bois the novelist and Du Bois the philosopher, story and editor. I think a lot of people will fall for D because it talks about Du Bois the philosopher, story and editor, but why? To show us that he's better known for some these other things and he's not known for his novels and so why not what's how much consideration has been given to his novel and that of course goes back more to answer choice e not d and there's our answer